So today, we're gonna be making a fantastic <clears throat> blueberry muffin. Uh, not gluten-free, so if you are gluten intolerant, I apologize. Uh, we just don't care today, but usually we care. <laughs> usually we give a shit. We don't care at uh, all. So Max is obviously the expert in baking. He knows a muffin yes, man. I'm a master baker. Uh, yeah, so let's rock some muffins. So what boy just said we're not gonna do gluten-free because We're not prepared and gluten-free muffins suck. Let's get let's get really honest <laughs> with each other All right, so sweet. Yeah, so we're gonna divide this into two So we're gonna do wet ingredients, which is what I'm gonna get you to do out and I'm gonna do dry uh, You're gonna whisk yours so it's nice and kind of uh, fluffy and Aerated and then I'm gonna mix mine so it's properly mixed together and then we'll fold them together Wine slightly forces. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is add the blueberries right at the end so then the mixing process doesn't squish the blueberries. Hmm. Sound good? Sounds fucking awesome. Our oven is preheated. We did it this time. We did it this time. It's good. Congratulations. Here's the trick yes. to your first little insider <laughs> chef secret. Preheat the oven. Preheat the oven. That we don't have to wait around and look stupid that's right. for 45 minutes. What? Not that that's Tricks happened before. Tree. Has that happened before? <laughs> I don't think it's happened before, has no. it? No. We got it together. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So in this one, let's do one whole egg. Yep. Um, it didn't it calls for one third of a cup of almond milk. Milk. So we're gonna start with one third of a cup, and if we need to add a little bit, a tiny bit more, now, that's all good. Is that a substitution you can just do from dairy to non-dairy milk, or is that something that? Yeah, essentially, um, the milk doesn't play a huge part in um, the baking process necessarily, um, other than the sugars for yeah. the yeast to rise. But fortunately, um, that has plenty of sugars in it that uh, it'll help. And plus, we're adding sugar too. Killer. And sorry, how much are we doing of the one cocoa of a cup. almond? One third of a cup. One quarter cup. One third of a cup. <laughs> Open your ears, you <laughs> stupid bitch. Okay, one third of a cup. So mean to yourself. Like you're a stupid bitch, but like you don't have to say that. Yeah. Everyone says it about you, but you don't say it about yourself. <laughs> All right. You should really hear what people say about you. That's the nicest. Okay, so there we go. What else are we looking? We're doing vanilla. Yep, so we're gonna do just like a dash, like like barely any, maybe let's measure, actually. Let's do, <laughs> let's do a half a teaspoon. I've only had two beers, so I do have the shake still, so it's better to use a measuring cup. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, so we got our eggs, our almond milk, our vanilla. Uh, where is our oil? We got a little bit of oil. Absolutely. Yes. Um, let's all oh, start whisking these guys. This is all we're doing for the, so we're do for the moist ingredients, if you will. The moist ingredients? Oh my goodness, that's gonna come up so slow. Oh yeah. Seems like get a lot. High, get it seems wild. like a lot, but it's not. Mm. Nice. Yeah, right. so whisk that up. I want that egg yolk to be like almost white. Like the egg yolk will get white when you continue going. Yeah. And while you whisk that, I'm gonna do all the measuring for the next step here. So I'm gonna do one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. How old is this flour? Uh when was Bill Clinton in power? Yeah, it's like 20 years Who's ago. Who's Bill Clinton? <laughs> Who's Bill Clinton? It's uh. Is he the guy who had like, sex with his secretary? He sure is. He sure is. Okay. He sure is. People well, seem to just. He had another job too. What was his other job? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people know him for something else. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, okay, actually, it's like it's probably like three or four years old. This flower, to be honest. The with actual you. reason I know who Bill Clinton is, like the first time I learned who Bill Clinton was, is because remember on LimeWire when you would download the the virus yeah. and it was like, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Or like, yeah. And I didn't know what that was, so I like researched because I wanted to know what that whole thing was and that's how I found out about the whole like Monica Lewinsky scandal and all that shit. Those early sites, you basically like, you're like, oh, I'm gonna download this um, Frank Sinatra <laughs> album for my mom and it was either bestiality porn or, <laughs> or it's Bill Clinton on repeat. <laughs> You didn't really get any option of what you really wanted, but every once in a while you get one song that you wanted, and that was worth it. Yeah, exactly. You're just filling and you your didn't battery have to pack. Pay for it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It was free. Yeah. It's just called being load, savvy, load mom. Load that up to your MP3 player. Yeah. Be rude if you didn't You're... listen to the entire album, Grandma. <laughs> yeah. uh, we don't need the whisk anymore, I guess. <laughs> Are you whisking the dries too? Uh, I'm gonna whisk the dries too. Yeah. So the one and a half cups of uh, the all-purpose flour, uh, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder. What's it, what do they do differently? Because I know you can't mix Honestly, them up or it's I have game over. I no fucking idea. <laughs> Honestly, it's like, just a white powder I know that works. which ones I use for certain things, but I actually don't really quite know what exactly they do. Lost in time. If I'm being Nobody honest, knows. Yeah. 
I guess I'm not a master baker. The whole time I thought I was. <laughs> master baker. Oh, God. Um, so, real quick, what we're going to do is activate the yeast. So, I just put, you know, we're going to make like a little cup or something, a little container. How about a clear glass? Sure. What are you doing here? So, tiny little bit of hot water. So, what I'm doing is I'm just getting a little bit of warm water to activate the yeast. Which way is it? Yeah. <laughs> is it that way? Up is down and down is up. There we go. No, we didn't preheat the tab. It's going to take about five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Here's the trick, guys. I know it's expensive, but turn everything on max when you're cooking, and then that way you won't have to worry about forgetting any steps. <laughs> Pour all your ingredients directly on the counter. Okay, so this is instant yeast. So this isn't a step that's super necessary, but I like this step because I think it acts faster. So I'm just activating. So I'm just literally just getting it wet with a little bit of warm water. Yeast is a bacteria. Bacteria loves room temperature warm waters and such. So we're just gonna let it do its thing for a quick second while we put the other two ingredients in here. Uh, we got our sugar. Now are these certified organic fair trade blueberries? They are not certified organic, but I did get them from a farmer's market. Oof. I don't know if that. That's pretty much better, <clears throat> I feel like. Okay. Yeah, I think they're local. I think they're from like Richmond maybe or. Oh, lovely. Delta, I don't know. Delta? <laughs> Delta, the freshest ingredients in all of Canada. That's right. One third of a cup of sugar. Okay, so here are our dry ingredients. I'm just gonna whisk them together. 30 seconds on our yeast. We can now add it to the rest of our wet ingredients. Whisk that up. Yeah, you can whisk it back in there. <laughs> I'm actually done, we're done with this one. But... Okay, I'm gonna read the ingredients and tell me if they're all in there. So eggs. Check. Almond milk. Yes, chef. Vanilla got in there. We oui, chef. The oil is in there. Fuck yeah. And the yeast, right? Oh yeah. Awesome, and I got the sugar, salt, baking powder, baking soda, and flour all in here. This would be the part where you would put any dry ingredients. Um, if you're making like a rhubarb muffin, you could put a little bit of cinnamon in. Um, blueberries are great with other things as well. Cinnamon would be an awesome one. Uh, cloves, basically any of those kinds of flavors. True. Tarragon. Yeah. Ter no. Fresh chilies. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope, wrong, two strikes. Nope, you're out. All right. Cool. So our oven is preheated. We got our trays. These little fucking guys. Now I've heard a lot that muffins are uh, something you really have to know. The muffin method, you really, it's a complicated thing. Is that true? Honestly, there is zero technique to muffins. Perfect. Like it's just, you mix all the shit in the bowl. Don't over mix it, that's the only thing. Don't over mix it um, and just bake it right away. Cause you just want, essentially, okay, well, I'll explain to you. So. The way that gluten works is it gets stronger as you mix it <clears throat> or work it. So like a strand, like a muscle strand almost, like as you build your muscle, it gets stronger and gets stronger. So if you take a, a bread like a sourdough, that's like dense and like if you try to pull it apart, it'd be hard to like pull a, like a piece of sourdough apart yeah. kind of thing. That's the gluten strands, like holding it all in. And it's like holding it together. Muffins, you don't want that. You don't want a tough muffin, mm. right? Like bread, yes, you want bread to hold together, but you want a muffin to fall apart. So you want to like barely, barely work the gluten strands and like barely mm. like work it at all. So we're just gonna mix it, like just to the point of mixed and then put it in. So I guess if we're thinking about technique, barely any, yeah. don't over mix it or you'll get like a, a tougher, um, yeah, like a kind of like a, I don't know. Yeah, a shitty tough, muffin. Yeah, a yeah. shitty muffin. You'll just get a shitty muffin. Yeah, yeah it's poured in, it's gonna kind of, Mix it and then once all that gets in there, I'm gonna kind of employ a bit of a folding technique. Again, I'm trying not to mix it. And what we also did, we actually put less uh, milk in. So if we want to, like if we find that this is gonna be um, a little bit too dry, which I, I'm already thinking that it might be too dry, add we can add milk. a little bit more milk, yeah. So it's actually, it's right here. And you said the almond coconut makes it lighter. Yeah, so this is the actually an almond coconut mix of the two um, <laughs> milks, and I'm not even sure why, but I just discovered it once making um, like pancakes. It was like the, the only substitute that really um, kind of does the same job as milk, is the mixed one. And again, I have no idea why. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> not an almond scientist? I'm I don't claim to be. <laughs> I don't claim to be. If you want stupid questions, you get stupid answers. What do you want? <laughs> Looking at you, Jimmy. <laughs> Doing a little bit more there? 
Uh, oh, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, I think like a tiny little bit. Like that's a little thick, that looks more closer to a dough. I think we want more of a batter. That's good. Oh, that's nice. It smells really good. I like the coconut almond in there with the vanilla. Mm -hmm. It's actually like. Yeah. Yeah, that vanilla is going to really come out as well. Oh, yeah. You know, you're, you know, every single time when you're like, hey, do you know what I'll use these bananas for? Banana Nothing. bread, and you just have 3,000 bananas? Have you ever made banana bread in your entire Zero. life? Zero. Yeah. <laughs> Zero times. Everybody's... How many times have you put a banana in your fridge, yeah. though? It's funny because it's, it's, we'll take every single vegetable that we don't use and throw it in the compost, but for some reason, bananas, we feel, and they're 89 cents for a pound, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, well, we need to hold on to these bananas. Well, yeah, because. It'd be wasteful to get rid of the cheapest produce you can possibly buy. <laughs> but I'll throw an entire pepper in the garbage. All my avocado. Yeah, well, avocados belong in the garbage, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we're just gonna like lightly just let it get a little bit in there. This is actually one part where. And you're just fill, you're just filling hands. the cups. You're not filling it up any higher than that. Yeah, so it's actually, I know that this recipe does the six in here, so I'm gonna divide it kind of equally between the six, just because I've done this recipe before. But if you're not sure, you kind of just want enough to kind of fill up the cup, and then it's gonna obviously rise. Like it'll rise up and over, but as long as it's in the cup, it'll be uh, it'll be easy to get it get out of there. Okay, do the honors. Oh my god! Oh, wow. yeah. Let me let me get that door for I you. I cook, sir. I clean. I'm like a single mother. <laughs> okay, in the middle tray without a baby though. Without um, a baby. Honestly, I don't think it matters. <laughs> Once again, easiest thing in the world to bake. Easy. Honestly, muffins are so easy. Cool. All right. Okay. Oh, nice. Muffins are in. All right. Sweet. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Okay. Yep. Awesome. So one thing you guys may have. Realize there's a bit of a weird energy in here. So I did this happened that. about <laughs> you did right. You walked in. Ooh. Ooh. Here's the back of my neck. Uh, this weird thing happens where anytime you bake anything, all of a sudden everything on the counter changes to something totally different. As if we're making something totally different. As if there's something in here with us. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were being serious for a second. All right. What happened? Oh my goodness! It's Oof. like magic. It's so weird, as oh if there's a ghost in here. But it's, Who knows? This house is haunted. Let's just never bring it up again and act like it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, the muffins are done. It's been a half an hour. Let's take a peek at our muffins. Ooh. Be careful of that big burst of hot air that always comes out. So we just want to stick our knife in nice and gently like this all the way down to the center, pull it out, and if there's anything stuck to the knife, um, you'll know that the batter isn't cooked properly, so we know that that's pretty much ready to rock. Um, I'm just gonna take a peek in there because I like to take a peek in there. Oh yeah, beautiful. We've got a dowel for you there, buddy. These are gonna be insanely hot, so we're just gonna leave those for another five minutes and then we'll try them. Soon. Guessing his way through like a Guessing. blind man through a Costco. <laughs> He's done it again. 